Welcome back to another edition of Audio Fiend. So, we got another Kendrick diss, not like us. At this point, Kendrick Jones, Zero Dark 30 on Drake. He has a lot to say. He's going crazy. He has a lot to say about this dude, Drake. 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 I, I want Drake to win. Drake, push that red button. You got to push the button. It's not looking good. Whatever that button is, push that red button. Please. Yeah, at this point, the quantity alone is going to smother Drake. It's crazy. <laughs> the quantity alone. But, um... I, I will say, though, before listening to this song, in my mind, a rap battle is, is determined by whatever your last output was. So, in my mind, without listening to this song yet... Drake is up. I thought Family Matters was better than what do you put out? Meet the Grams. I thought Family Matters was better than Meet the Grams in almost every single aspect. But my mind, Drake is up. Let's see if this changes that. How do you feel about the whole Drake psyoped Kendrick thing? Kendrick thought he was playing. He, he was. He, he thought he was L from from Death Note, and it <laughs> turned out that Drake was light. Wait, wait. wait. So you? Because he was. Because he, he said in Euphoria, he was like, um. You got moles on your team? No, he said that in 616 in LA. But in Euphoria, he was like, you think that you're calculated? I'm more calculated than you. Then in 616, he said, you got moles and rats on your team. He puts out Family Matters. And then immediately, Drake uh, Kendrick puts out a response, thinking, yeah, I got you. I got more information from your mole. Turns out he was a double agent. So are you buying into the fact, right? Because this is what they're saying, that Drake... And this is the problem with me even like framing it like this because like it's almost like should I believe it? Because the Drake dick suckers have been doing everything in their power, mm -hmm. propaganda almost, mm -hmm. to make it look like Drake is winning. Mm -hmm. So do you really truly believe that Drake sigh up Kendrick into thinking that he had a daughter? Yeah, you do. Yeah, it seems plausible, but okay, okay. Truly and really, like I don't believe it the same way I believe that I'm black, but. <laughs> You know, it seems plausible. Yeah, it seems like likely that that's what he like, did. Seems likely that Drake, I would guess Drake does not have a daughter, and Kevin Drake was given false information that he does. But they're saying that the girl's photo was in the video, the Family Matters video. Yeah, it kind of looked like that. Uh, yeah, I couldn't really. I'm like, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. You know, but yeah, yeah. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Oh, I guess I have to bring this up. Oh, the Kendrick, the Kendrick people, they're like, they're animals. They want Kendrick to win more than they want to breathe air. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a foregone conclusion for them. There, there will be no fair and balanced judging of this, um, of this battle in any way, shape, or form. The Kendrick fans have already made up their mind. So, I, I don't know, there's nothing to even touch on. I think honestly at this point, I don't know. I don't even want to bring it up. The whole <laughs> you, 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 they. Every post I see of them, of people talking about how Drake side of Kendrick, they say. But what about these allegations? Oh, the uh, the Diddy allegations. The Diddy allegations. Like maybe he'll respond to them in a song. That's all we can wait for. I ain't gonna shoot bail for him. I'm just gonna. Wait and see what Drake says. That's all I can do. Let's hit it. Let's check this out. Let's see what he got. Psst. I see dead people. Hey, monster on the beat, ho, depot, in the rack, nigga. He a free throw, man down. Call a Amber Lambs, tell him, please, bro. Nell a nigga to the cross, he walk around like Tizo. What's up with these jabroni ass niggas trying to see Compton? The industry can Wait, whoa, whoa. I think this is the first time I've ever heard Kendrick on a. West Coast beat. A classical West Coast beat. I don't know. I feel like 616 in LA was kind of West Coast theme. Maybe. Not as much as this, at least. Maybe not. Maybe not. This is what you get when you wake up with mustard. I'm feeling funky. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, okay. Fuck them all in the mama. How many options you really got? I mean, it's too many options. I'm finna pass on this body. I'm John Stockton. Wow, he sounds just like EBK J Bo. A little bit. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I like this. I like this country. <laughs> this kind of fire. Be 
get your ass and hide the Bible if God watch you. Sometimes you gotta pop out and show niggas. Certified boogie man, I'm the one that up to score with him. Walk him down whole time, I know he got some hoe in him. Pull on him, extort shit, bully the flow on him. Say, Drake, I hear you like I'm young. You better not ever go to cell block one. To any bitch that talk. What does that mean? Don't go to jail. Oh, don't go to jail? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. they don't like, they don't like pedals in there. Nope. He's really, he's really leading into this. I need the facts, bro. Like, you can't just say that, that somebody is a chomo. Or you can't battle there. rap. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's Sorry. this rap. You can't say it, and I believe it. I'm not going to buy it. Like, I heard you like him long, young. You better not go to cell block one. You know, that's 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 nice bar work. You know, it's 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 a cute line. It's clever. But I'm not just buying it. I'm not like, yeah, Drake is because Kendrick. Like, no, no. So I need I need the facts before I go. Bro, what happened to all your Kendrick dick suck? I've never had that. <laughs> I've always been fair and bound. Okay, okay. I hear you like I'm young. Hey. You better not ever go to cell block one. Mm-hmm. To any bitch that talk to him and they in love. Just make sure you hide your little sister from him. They tell me Chubb's the only one that get your hand-me-downs and party at the party playing with his nose now. And Baka got a weird <laughs> case. Why is he around? Certified lover boy, certified pedophile. Oh my Baka. gosh. Okay. I was acting scared in the beginning of the video. Oh my gosh. This is it, Drake. This is what he wants to get you on. This is what he wants to stick you on. You better push that red button. What's the red button? Whatever it is. He said he's got a red button. He did say that. And then on Instagram, after, I think after Kendrick's last this, you know, he posted a bunch of things on his, uh, on his story. And one of them was a little cartoon character just staring at a red button and not having pushed it yet. So I'm thinking, he still think I got the red button in the tuck. Push that button. Okay, I'll tell you this much. I haven't heard the rest of this song yet. But as far as this song is, it's looking kind of sad for you Kendrick fans. This is looking kind of shaky. If this is the only thing he can... Stamp Drake on, I think if Drake really has a red button, which I honestly don't think he does, <laughs> if Drake really has a red button, he's got Kendrick in the corner with the guard up fighting for his life. Because mm-hmm. if this is all you got left, Drake's a pedo, I don't know if that's going to win you the beef. We're going to see. But this, this is all encompasses whether Drake has the red button. Without the red button, this will be enough to win. Oh yeah, for sure, for <laughs> sure, for sure. But but you Drake needs a red button. We're going to see. That fuck him up. Wah, 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 wah. I'ma do my stuff. Mm. Why you trolling like a bitch? Ain't you tired? Trying to strike a chord and it's probably a minor. Oh shit. They be saying that's Drake's go to only shit he can do. Well, a minor? Yeah. Who says that? Uh, music heads. Oh, well. Nah, this is crazy. That's a lot. Oh, I, I didn't. I'm that's a that's a triple it. entendre. Is it? Explain it. A minor. Got a files mm-hmm. minor. Mm-hmm. Um. A minor chord and scale don't have any black keys. It's true. Only white keys. Bro, there's no, like, they, 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 no, they put that there. He wasn't thinking of that when he wrote it. You know what Kendrick did? Huh? When he, <clears throat> when the piano was first made, Kendrick was there. <clears throat> and he made it so that the A minor. Because <laughs> he accepted that Drake. <laughs> I'm going to be beefing with the light skin. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. I mean, look. Uh, sure, I'll get it. Yeah, triple entendre. Don't even nah. ask him now. Yeah, I mean, you know, if you grant things like that to Kendrick, this man's just a genius, man. Nah, it's, you know, I'm not granting it to him. Why not? I'm trying to try to strike a chord and it's probably A minor. Come on. The A minor. It has no black get... keys, man. No, no, I don't want to hear that. It's just <laughs> it's just a, a child reference trying to strike a chord. That's a cute line. It's a cute line. Shout out to Kendrick. See, and this is what Dixa comes in. On Genius, it says, it was worth noting, noting that Drake's song part of Family Manners and a flat minor scale much like the part of the track kendrick draws out the final syllable of the bar just like drake that's a stretch bro the a flat minor is not a minor there are black keys in there oh okay yeah dick sock dick sock it's fine though what let's just keep pushing okay <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
They not like us. 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 You think the bay gon' let you disrespect pop, nigga? I think that Oakland show gon' be your last stop, nigga. They cold foul. I don't know why you still pretending. What is the owl? Bird niggas and bird bitches. Go. I do cold foul. They just make shit up for this nigga. Yeah, it's it's whatever. It's whatever. We, don't, we shouldn't harp too much on the, the genius annotations. This is just yeah. Um, <clears throat> if I so if Dick Cole foul, I don't know why he's still pretending. I don't know. I'm just keep moving on. I don't know. I don't know what he means. That open show go be your last stop, nigga. They cold foul. I don't know why you still pretending. What is the owl? Bird niggas and bird bitches. Go. The audience not dumb. Shape the stories how you want. Hey, Drake, they're not slow. Rabbit hole is still deep. I can go further, I promise. Ain't there some be rest that's for bitching? You Malibu most wanted. Ain't no law boy, you ball boy. Fish get or something. Since 2009, I had this bitch jumping. You niggas will get a wedgie. Be flipped over your boxes. Well, over your foe. The other vaginal option. Pussy. Think about better straighten they posture. Got famous all up in contact. Might write this with a doctor. Tell a pop star quit hiding. Fuck a caption, won't action. No accident, I'm hands on. He fuck around, get polished. Fuck on Wayne Girl like he was in jail. That's Canavan. Mm. Then get his face tatted like a bitch apologizing. I'm glad D Rose came home. Y'all didn't deserve him neither. From Alonja down to Central, nigga better not speak on Serena. And your homeboy needs subpoena. That predator moving flocks. That name gotta be registered and placed on neighborhood watch. I lean on you niggas like another line of walk. Yeah, it's all eyes on me and I'ma send it up the pot. Ay, put the wrong label on me, I'ma get them dropped. Ay, sweet chin music and I won't pass the ox. Ay, how many stocks do I really have in stock? Ay, one, two, three, four, five, plus five. Ay, devil is a lie. He is 69 God. Ay, freaky ass niggas need to stay their ass inside. Ay, roll their ass up like a fresh pack of Zion. Ay, city is back up. It's a must. We outside. Ay. They not like us. 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 Once upon a time, all of us was in chains. Homie still double down, calling us some slaves. Atlanta was the mecca, building railroads and trains. Bear with me for a second, let me put y'all on game. The settlers was using town folk to make them richer. Fast forward, 2024, you got the same agenda. You run to Atlanta when you need a check balance. Let me break it down for you, this the real nigga challenge. You caught future when you didn't see the club. Hey, what? Little baby, help you get your lingo up. What? 21, get your first street cred. Thug, make you feel like you a slime in your head. Hey, what? Cravo said you can be from north side but two chains say you good but he lied you run to atlanta when you need a few dollars no you're not a colleague you're a fucking colonizer the family matter and the truth for the matter here was god's plan to show y'all the liar how's it he's like he hates him they can't case rick he hates him why like why do i think that yeah I feel like he just he's just taking actually you know what maybe he truly believes these things in his hearts i'm not i'm not in the music industry like the way these guys are i have never talked to 21 little baby two chains quavo it is how all of them feel they feel like drake's not really you know he's not really part of their circle i don't i don't think 21 feels that way maybe he does from he might feel that way, but from the interviews that I've heard from him and the way that he's spoken about Drake, I don't think that 21 feels that way. I don't know how to feel about 21 after he did that shit to Ross. What? What does that mean? I feel... I thought he could... I thought he was, like, you know, a pretty good, upstanding dude. But, you know, I seen the... You know, when all the rappers weren't really fucking with someone like Academics... He's the one that bridges that gap. I thought he was like a forward thinking, you know, outside of the streets. Like, I understand the internet. I understand regular people. I thought he was that kind of guy. And he tried to scam me in and Ross. I'm just like, oh, that was a little weird. So now, it doesn't, it doesn't make, it makes me think that maybe he could be, like, he could possibly be talking behind Drake's back too. Okay. I mean, I I guess I, I don't I don't really know much about the Aaron Ross situation, 
so I can't really speak on that. But um, I just feel like this entire verse was a stretch. Like, it, it feels like a stretch, but look at all the people that hate Drake. Is there not a symbiotic relationship? Sure, Drake gained some things off of them, obviously, but they also gained something off of him. Yeah, but then why any, they... type, of, uh, any type of business relationship that you are enter into with somebody, both parties hopefully will benefit from it, and both of okay. these parties benefited. I think, actually, I'm totally wrong. Because... I think I'm totally wrong. Like, exactly. Th th that's my thing. Like, he's stretching these relationships to make them look negative. And I'm thinking, like... Are those fair criticisms? I mean, look at all Drake's relationships kind of falling apart today. But the people he mentioned, besides Future, seem to be still friendly with him. I mean, I have no indication that they hate Drake. But, uh, you know, it, in my back of my head, I'm like, besides 21, I haven't seen, you know, a link up with these people in a long time. No, I didn't. Thug is in jail. Yeah. So. I haven't seen the two chains, Quavo, Lil Baby, in a while now. I guess. I, I think the I think what I'm kinda of getting at is that um you know the things that Kendrick's saying here, like basically he's a colonizer. You know, he's outside of black culture, he's not really one of us. He's painting this perspective, and I I'm just starting to think that maybe a lot of people in the rap industry had that perspective, and on top of that, maybe it's just true. I'm sorry, say that last part again. A lot of people in the rap industry have this perspective, and maybe it's just true. Well, the Drake is like a colonizer? Yeah, you know, contemporarily, like, he's not really for black culture. He comes in, he tries to make the money. Um, He doesn't really give back to the community. I don't know if he does any of these things, but that's what Kendrick is alluding to. He's using all these rappers to make himself richer. But I don't know. Don't they get richer? You would think so. Does Kendrick give back to the community? I would hope so. So what are we talking about? <laughs> I just, I'm just trying to get into his mind. In the last video, I was talking about how in the last Kendrick. But, but hold on, I'm sorry because like I'm trying to get like you're saying what we're talking about. I'm trying to get into his mind because my first reaction is this nigga just really hates Drake. He's willing to say anything to disparage, disparage his character, and then I think. On the other side, well, maybe what he's saying is just true. There's only one or two options. Either he's lying because he hates Drake, or what he's saying is true. He doesn't have to be lying because he hates Drake. He just be lying because he wants to win the battle. But um, it's not really that much. Different. I think I think he just has. I just he, there's probably a lot of that that he agree, that he actually agrees with that he actually thinks is true. But I think he's an idiot. His wife is white. What is like? What is he talking about? He's a retard. He probably believes this, and he's retarded. He has a retarded outlook on life, money, economics, relationships. He's retarded. That's all that means to me. Like, like it's stupid. He says some stupid shit. Okay. Mm. Mm. He a fan, he a fan, he a fan. Mm. He a fan, he a fan, he a freaky ass nigga, he a 69 god. Freaky ass nigga, he a 69 god. <laughs> hey, 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 run for your life. Hey, 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 run for your life. Freaky ass nigga, he a 69 god. Freaky ass nigga, he a 69 god. Hey, 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 run for your life. Hey, 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 run for Let your life. Let me hear you say O V ho. O V ho. Say O V ho. O V ho. Then step this way. Step that way. Then step this way. Step that way. Are you my friend? Are we locked in? Then step this way. Step that way. Oh, then that, step that, that's this a, way. Uh, step that way. Slot? Maybe. Um, nobody can ever tell Kendrick can't make a hit, man. This nigga knows. This nigga knows what he's doing with music, man. This nigga knows what he's doing with music, man. This shit was alright. Nah, man. He, yo, this shit seems so effortless, bro. And it came out fire. I gotta give it to him, man. If this shit wasn't about Drake, man, this shit would be hot, man. This is the Kendrick I like. Man, this shit sound fire. I gotta go through some of these lyrics. Cause I'm really, I'm really like. But the way niggas was talking was like, this is the greatest verse of all, like, this is the greatest song of all time, this song of all time. I'm like, bro, it's because of what I've been talking about throughout this whole series. Like, he finally made something that was palatable. Before and not, it was palatable. palatable. Yeah. 
half because the, the first part of it was kind of you know, bland. He finally made something that was like, this is what this track should be today. This shit should be hot. It should be rapid fire jokes. Like, gotta get in. Hmm. Uh, time I know I got, he got some hoe in him. You know what the funniest part of this? I wanna extort bully. Death row on him. Okay, see so Drake, I hear you like him young. Don't go to cell block one. Chubbs ain't the only one that gets your hand me downs. Uh, Drake gets Chubbs' hand me downs. I mean, Chubbs gets with the same underage girls after Drake has already been with them. Okay. Uh, party next door does cocaine, apparently. Baca got a weird case while he's around. Travis Savory, known as Baca Not Nice, was previously a former security guard who signed with Drake's record label OVO. Um, in 2014, Baca was arrested in Charles. No. Quick trial for game. I, I remember it vague, but I just want to read it. Like, I want to see. Charged with forcing a 22 year old woman into prostitution and taking her money. This led to Drake mentioning Baca's release from jail on the 2015 track, Know Yourself. Might declare a holiday as soon as Baca get back on the road. Baca got out of jail. There was a lot of different paths he could have took, and he decided to focus on music. Kendrick questions Drake's decision to keep Baca on. Okay. Um. And that was your man's. Old ass sex offender. Your boy. Yeah, I mean, it's so funny that this song has just as many views as oh, look, Meet the Grams. They have the exact same views. Is it that? I mean, okay. it's crazy because I think I think it's it's exactly what I'm saying. Like this song was hot. <laughs> he actually made a, a banger. Yeah, no, a lot of people think it's hot. Like, I mean, me personally, I think. I still think Euphoria was the best song that he's put out. Uh, I think like, Euphoria is the best one too. Sonically, at least. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I listened to. How uh, do they all have thirteen million views? I feel like I listened to Mid. I ain't gonna lie. Really? All right, explain it. Just like. Kendrick's weirdness works in a certain context for me. His weirdness works in the context of him making like deep, contemplative music, mm-hmm. but. When he's doing that weird, huh, hey, huh, 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 I understand it, and so it kind of can, it can work in more commercial music. I'm saying it doesn't. You know, what I'm saying it doesn't. Yeah, I I listen to way more country than you, and it's just like this shit just not does not hit for me. So musically, not what I'm looking for. And then like I'll take a step back. Way more country is not. It's a little crazy. The only album I didn't listen to was Mr. Morales. Mr. Morales. Is that nigga Spider Man? Mr. Morales and the Big Steppers, you know what I'm saying? Mr. Morale. Oh, my fault. <laughs> I ain't listen to it. <laughs> um, but no, but I, I still continually listen to Kendrick music. You don't. Fair enough. Um, yeah, I, as, as, as far as the bars go, yeah, you know, there were some good bars. I'm not going to lie, like a decent amount of went went over my head because I was just trying to figure out, like, what it is that he was trying to say uh, in general, mm-hmm. but... I don't know, calling Drake a pedo. Sure, sure, sure. There's some good lines in there, but you know, it, it's like it's just not It's not hitting you. It's not the knockout punch that people I'm I'm it's one piece all over again. Just because everybody is making it seem like Kendrick is really just running away with this thing. That's what I'm expecting. So when I go into the song and it's like, okay, he said some things that are unsubstantiated, he had some bars, um, and it sounded not that good. I go, this is what everybody was jacking? This is what everybody's saying Drake is over for? It was cool. It was cool. One for one, this isn't this isn't gonna end Drake's career. And two, um if it was really if it was really what he thought it was, go to the police. That's like, kind of facts. That's kind of facts. Like at both ends, it's like, no. Because it's just so weird. Like, you don't have anybody coming out saying that Drake did this. There's no investigation happening, so, at so, least that we're and, aware of. And so he can just make the statement, and for years, people are just going to say it, and there's no way to not. No, no, it. but this is the thing. The Drake, the, the Kendrick fans 
are running away with it. Like, Drake Chappelle, Drake Chappelle, Drake Chappelle. Bro, bro, what? Like, no, no, he's not. <laughs> this is a joke. He's, he's literally framing this into something, but it's like, he doesn't really believe it. He would never call the police on Drake to <laughs> investigate into him. He wouldn't. This isn't real. You got to calm down. He's not really a pedo. Yeah, I don't, it's... <laughs> I mean, it was cool. Like, no one's not gonna do business with Drake because they think he's a pedo. Like, it's just, like they're really thinking that this is the gut punch. The best thing he had was that Drake had a daughter, and it doesn't look like he does. So, this pedo thing is not it's not really what you think it is. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I feel. I feel. I really feel like I'm crazy. I'm. I'm in my. I'm. I'm telling you, my mind is moving at a thousand miles per hour, trying to figure out why is this not hitting for me. Why? You haven't figured it out yet. No. But it, you know what it is? It's probably because a lot of the bars just went over my head. Like, oh, if you go on Twitter, they were, you know, rabbit hole so deep I can go for because everything is annotated here. So I'm like, yeah. oh, I'm I just have to be an idiot. I have to be an idiot. Everything is a- annotated. B rat stands for bitch. What is B rat? B rat novels for foreigners. What does that have to do with Drake? B-Rat. Oh, white white guy pretending to be black. Yeah. Okay, sure. But yeah, I, like yeah. I don't like I don't okay I but I don't I don't agree with the with the sense I don't agree that Drake is white so I'm like what is I, what? I feel like I'm losing my mind I'm sorry hey man maybe it's just not for you some people do think Drake is like not for the culture what can you do not for the culture whether Drake is with for the culture or not I don't really care I don't really care I just want to listen to the music I don't even know what that means. Black what culture. Is, yeah, what does he have to do to be for the culture? Not be Jewish. <laughs> I don't. If it's white, then Kendrick is married to somebody who's not for the culture. Okay, so we got to get rid of that one. Um, does he have to like donate money? Does Kendrick do that? Have we ever seen any evidence of that? I don't understand. I just please, please, somebody in the comment section, please tell me. I don't understand. I don't understand any of this. He has to renounce Judaism and become a Muslim. Aren't there? I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to get into the religious conversations. Please, in the comment section, please, somebody tell me, because I, I don't understand any of this. I don't understand the pedo allegations. I don't understand the daughter thing. I don't understand the not being for the culture. I don't understand any of it. I none, not, not a drop. I don't get it, because okay, Kendrick makes all right. Oh, this is our anthem for Black Lives Matter and da da and Black Liberation. So when he makes a bunch of money off of. Black people, black struggle, that's fine. Where did that money go? Was he like donating to Black Lives Matter and showing up to protest? I was talking to one of our friends yesterday. I said, at the very least, J. Cole went to a protest. Somebody called him out, uh, no names. You called him out for not speaking on these types of issues. And uh, he said, I like to let people like you handle it because I don't really know that much about it. After that, he went, he lent, he lended his presence to the movement to legitimize it. He went to the protest out with the people. Have I ever seen Kendrick do that? I don't understand. I don't. I don't get it. Why is Drake not a part of the culture? Why is Drake not for the culture? I don't understand. Please, somebody has to explain it to me. Somebody has to explain it to me. How many features does Kendrick do? He'll do a feature with Imagine Dragons. He'll get on the gra- gr- uh, dr- uh, Grammy stage with Imagine Dragons. He'll do a feature for Taylor Swift. Where are the prolific Kendrick features propping up black artists everywhere, all over the place? <laughs> you're going crazy. I don't understand. <laughs> Please, somebody has to explain it to me. You're, you're going crazy. Bro, it, it literally, it just feels like I listen to nothing for the entire thing. It's just all garbage. It's all dog shit. And people Drake are a lot of black people. I don't, under, I don't, under, I don't get it. I'm really, I'm just, that's all I have to say. I'll give my rating. But the last time Drake did a song with someone white. That's the last thing. I mean, maybe like a Spanish artist or something. If you want to consider that a, a non-black person, please, somebody tell me. <laughs> I don't get it, but that's all I'm going to say. You, I'm you, gonna, you, you're really, you're really thinking about this, huh? No, I'm thinking about it right now. I'm like, what is happening? I'm reading through the lyrics. I'm like, what is this, what is bro talking about? What is he talking about? Okay, I see... And this is what I was talking about in the other Kendrick video. Kendrick just seems like a good person. I don't know why. Because of the way he, he moves and operates and the things he says. So now you, you it's almost like, and I don't know if Kendrick fans have done the research. It's almost like, oh, he obviously does those things. He obviously gives back to the community. He obviously props up black artists. You just don't know about it. Wasn't it Kendrick that said, I'm going to take my music off of Spotify until they put R. Kelly's music back? It was also XSS Tentacion, but R. Kelly, like, prolific black little girl uh, like 
Wasn't that wasn't that Kendrick that did that? I don't. Uh, somebody needs to explain it to me, please. No, no, he got sobs. He just didn't believe that mm-hmm. R. Kelly really did that. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Please, somebody explain it to me. Right, I you got don't a understand. As a song, I'll give it like a seven and a half. Is it this? It's a six. Uh, that's a song. I'll give this an eight. That's pretty fire. Uh, is it this? See, you're asking all the right questions. But they're not gonna. They're not asking those. <laughs> unless I go on Twitter, I haven't been on Twitter. I can't be spoiling myself when I do these. So unless I go on Twitter and people are saying the same things as you, it remains to be seen. So I gotta give the this at least a seven. I'm telling you, man. As I was, because we didn't we didn't record this immediately after it dropped. We recorded it like twelve hours or something like that, or you know after it dropped. I'm telling you, man. I was sitting there thinking. I was like, you know. Drake, is, he's got the upper hand in my in my opinion right now, but that Kendrick, the way they're talking about it, you know, my goat, he might take an L here. Bro, I listened to the whole track and I said, this is what they were charging? I can't believe somebody has to explain this to me. And maybe you guys will. And if you do, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, the notification bell so you never miss a video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Peace.